everybody, this is Chad with Good Creative Tutorial. Today I'm going to go over two tools that can be helpful in portrait photography. You could use them in landscape photography, other situations like that, but really it's uh, the most relevant application of these two tools uh, deals with portrait photography. That is the spot healing brush tool and the healing brush tool. So go ahead and open up a portrait and uh, probably preferably one that has maybe person who has some blemishes or a mole or, or a freckle that you just um, want to remove, maybe they want you to remove it from the portrait, and uh, one option to do that is the spot healing brush tool. So if you press J on the keyboard, or if you click and hold under this group, you can see the flat menu, but the very top one should be the spot healing brush tool. There's a couple options up at the top, of course the size, the hardness and softness and things like that. Um, but also normal, replace, multiply screen, these are different, uh, normally those are uh, layer blending modes, most of them. Uh, you can experiment with different ones, but normal is going to be the best one if you're just trying to cover something up and use the area around it um, to cover that up. Now a couple different options here, proximity match is going to look at everything in the proximity, that's one way to remember it, um, all the pixels, and try to figure out what pixels should be inside. All right, so if I just click and let go, because it is called the spot healing brush tool, that's really what it's meant for, just to spot areas, touch them up, um, that worked pretty well. If you try to create texture, it will add a sort of a texture, and it's really meant for areas that already have a texture, but if I just click and let go here, if you look very closely, there is a slight texture there, so we, in this context, we probably would not use that one. Uh, content aware work, works a little bit um, in a similar fashion to proximity match, but it uh, works just like the, the content aware fill, for example, um, but only in this selected area. So if I just click and let go, it's going to use content aware and look at the area and fill in those pixels uh, so it blends in. And that's a, a pretty good result, I think. Uh, if you do sample all layers, that just, if you have more than one layers, it will sample all of them rather than only the current one. So that is the spot healing brush tool. Now the healing brush tool, let me undo those edits that we did. Now the healing brush tool, if you click and hold on the spot healing brush tool and go to the healing brush tool, it works a little bit differently. I'm going to press the right bracket to make the brush a little bit larger. And instead of just click and let go, you have to sample a source area first, kind of like the clone stamp tool, but it's a little bit different from the clone stamp tool because with the clone stamp tool, if I alt or option click somewhere and then I click somewhere else, it's going to sample from that at that same angle and actually take those pixels with a soft edge, if we have a soft edge brush, and place them over here. With the healing brush tool, it's a little bit different because it doesn't just take those pixels and bring them over with a soft border. It also takes into consideration the area around it and tries to make it blend in a little bit more. All right, so if I just click and drag right there, that's a pretty good result. It pulled from over here, you saw the little cross icon, and it placed them in that circle and then blended it in a little bit. We can do the same thing here. If I alt click maybe right here, and then click and drag a little bit there. That works pretty well. A couple options up at the top. Sampled is going to be your default. If you do pattern, uh, that's just if you you don't need to do a source area. Um, you can just paint in and it will use that pattern and fill uh, the area and then blend it in with the color. Uh, and then aligned is just going to be is, is it going to be aligned with your first time that we draw it out, or is it going to reset every time we start a new uh, clicking and dragging? All right, and again, the current layer, you can also sample uh, the current layer below or all layers. It's another option uh, in the healing brush tool. So those are pretty helpful in those contexts. Please uh, be sure to subscribe. should have some more Photoshop tutorials on the way, and um, we'll see you next time. <laughs>